that's well, what you're trying I, to I, I thought we uh, we played hard. I don't know if we played as smart as we've been playing in in our practices, but I think the reason is because uh, they are a very good team. They they really shoot the ball well. Um, and they got themselves back in the game from behind the three-point line. Uh, early on, they had us leaving our feet all the time, leaving our feet. And uh, then at the end, when they made that string of three-pointers, uh, a couple of them, we had our hand right there challenging it, and they just shot it and made it. So the three-point shot is a very dangerous weapon because it gets teams back in the game quickly, very quickly. And we saw the 12, 13-point lead disappear, and all of a sudden it's a tie game. Uh, at the end, but uh, the good news is that uh, we put three different units on the floor in the first half. Uh, we really didn't give ourselves a chance to build a big lead. Every time we got it to 12 and we substituted, they came back uh, and cut into the you know the lead and got it back close again. So it makes you have to battle back uh, down the stretch. Big free throws by Steve Bird, a big basket by Serge with the score tied that was so important. I thought tonight, first half, Dima did a, just an excellent job coming off the bench for us. Slava uh, was terrific. Um, and if we can get Slava playing that way every day, it's going to be very special for us. It means a lot. So uh, now we uh, bounce back tomorrow afternoon. We have a game at 2 o'clock, and we have to play, uh, we have to play better, better than we did uh, tonight, but I think part of it was uh, we have to give credit to the other team. They, uh, they're a good team, they're well coached, they make shots, and they play hard. They never gave up, so uh, I was impressed with them, but um, tonight's over, you move on now. Okay, thank you. Okay. Как у нас так игра сложила, что у нас основной центровой травму получил вчера на тренировке. В нападении надо очень много работать, чтобы все Синхронно получилось, синхронно получилось бы. И кого считать фаворитом в этом турнире? Ну, Украина, конечно. Без сомнений. Фух, я говорю, там 14 игроков. Ну, все разыграли. Так что я говорю, самое главное, что ровная команда, так как это и сегодня такая короткая, сколько там больше всего кто-то играл, минут 20, наверное. За выделиться никто не особо не успел, а самое важное есть, что ровная команда. Никогда не знаешь, кто может собить и кто хорошо сыграет. Это самое важное. Спасибо большое. Пожалуйста. Удачи вам. Ждем возвращения из Тони Бизона. Нет, ну они в следующем году.